Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to be unboxing my newest laptop, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15. Coming up. <laughs> So yeah guys, before we unbox this bad boy, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. See you in the next bit. So yeah, here we have the front. It's pretty minimalistic all around, not gonna lie. It has this cool sort of pinstripe design around here, a little line separating it from just the, uh, the matte black. And then uh, this uh, ROG Zephyrus logo over here in shiny red. Then on the top, kind of a similar thing. It still has the, uh, the shiny logo up there. You got the little Asus tape on the side. And then on this side, just uh, matte black. Then on this side, just got the UPC codes and stuff like that. Then on the back, sadly, the uh, stats and stuff, which are right here, are blocked off by this Amazon shipping sticker. On the bottom, just more UPC stuff. So, now that we've uh, looked over the box, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. With the help of our trusty skizzers. So, go ahead, open this bad boy up, flip her over. And uh, this time I got it on the correct side because the last time I unboxed the laptop, I opened it from the bottom. So this time, I know I got it right. So, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. And I got it right, awesome. Hey, take a look at that. So here's something cool about this box. As you open it further, the laptop starts to rise from the back a little bit. Isn't that cool? So now we'll go ahead and uh, take this bad boy out. And before we take a better look at the laptop, let's go ahead and look at what else is in the box. So we have more of the Zephyrus thing, but in more of a uh, iridescent finish versus the, uh, the red on the front of the box. So in this envelope, we have the uh, warranty card here. Then you have the actual warranty information here. Then you have a safety guide right here. Then opening this back end, nothing else. Then opening the left pocket, we have nothing. Then on the right side here, we have the uh, power brick. After that, we have the other part of the power cable here. So before we continue with this unboxing, I just wanna show you the mechanism behind this little lifting thing in the box. So as I move the lid, this little thing moves back and it causes this little mechanism right here to uh, tilt up. Because normally, if I move it down, it just kinda lays flat like that, right? But as I move the lid up, it moves this little thing up, which allows you to pull up the laptop. I just think it's a really cool feature, and it's just one of those fun little attentions to detail that I love about Asus. Then you have on the inside here, ROG, Republic of Gamers, like a shiny black against matte black. So I think that's pretty cool. So now we've gone over the box and all of its contents. Let's go over the piece of resistance, the laptop itself. And it has this really thick plastic shield on there. You can see my camera off of it. Let's go ahead and remove this bad boy. All right, almost like a diaper, kinda. So here is the laptop, and it has this really nice sort of brushed metal design on there. And uh, it does have a little bit of smudging on there. I don't know if you can see it, just from my fingerprints. But not too terrible, I don't think. So it has this super brushed side here, and then more of a, a finer brush on this side here. It's really cool. So on the front here, you have nothing except the little notch to lift up the lid. Then on the left, you have the power adapter, ethernet port, HDMI, USB type A, then USB C, then you have your headphone and mic jack. And then on the right, you have two USB type A's and the little Kensington lock up there that somebody uses, not me. I don't know. <laughs> then on the back here, you have your exhausts. And then on the back here, you have your two speakers and you have your vents. And then the cool thing I like about this are the uh, notches on the top and bottom. They're very well pronounced. The ones in the corners have little rubber booties. And then these two up here are just plastic. But yeah, the bottom is plastic as well, in case you guys are wondering. 
So with all that said, let's give her the one hand open test. And of course, she absolutely kills it. So right here you have the uh, little keyboard cover. Let's go ahead, move that bad boy. Then as you can see here, it's powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 4000 series. I believe it's the 4500, I'll have to check though. Then it has a 144 Hertz display. There is an upgrade for the 240, but uh, I'm a little cheap. Then it has high res audio, adaptive sync, Wi-Fi 6 certified, and then uh, it also charges via Thunderbolt as well. Then it says here, Ryzen eight cores up to 118% faster, assuming that means against Intel. Then right here, it's kind of this black on black sort of design. So you have the ROG Zephyrus logo up front. You got the little grills for the intakes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty well understated actually for an ROG Zephyrus computer. Well, that's the way I like it, man. So for me, I don't really need all the RGB gamer looking type computers. So I wanted something with the horsepower of a gaming laptop without actually looking like a gaming laptop. Well, as much anyway. But I just really like the kind of toned down design of it. I think that also helps contribute to the, uh, the lower price point as well. And uh, I get the big old space bar, which uh, for those that don't know, I'm living out in Japan right now. And uh, the Japanese keyboard has a really tiny sort of tic-tac space bar. And I just love having this big meaty bad boy back once again. So yeah guys, that was my unboxing of the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15. As a uh, video editor, really looking forward to uh, working with her in Premiere. And with that said guys, this is the Andy San. It's not for now, as always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.